Hey there, record collectors. I'd like to share with you today the band Churchill's from Israel, late 60s psychedelic rock. Uh, this was released 1968. It was the band's only LP. It was initially released on the Head RZ label in 68. Uh, the first reissue, official reissue repress of this was also put out by Head RZ in 1987. As you can see here, digitally remastered and cut on March 87 from the original master tapes. Now, what I'm holding here is a limited 500 copy edition, uh, released around 1990, I believe. I bought it around that time. And it was issued on the Fantasia music label, which, if I'm not mistaken, was a label set up in Germany, uh, though they did press in the UK as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure what I'm holding here is a UK pressing, and I do know that it was a limited 500 copy edition. So there's only 499 of these guys out there. And what's interesting is they did source an original Head RZ pressing, or perhaps the 87 pressing, which looked a lot like the original, um, for the photograph of the back cover here. Any ring wear you see up there is not on the copy I'm holding per se, but rather on the, the one they used for the source for this photograph. You can even see some water staining up here in ring wear. So I did own a copy of this. <coughs> Excuse me maybe 30, 30 plus years ago, I picked one up in the late 70s, an original pressing, and I had no idea of its value. It was rather worn, and I unloaded it to a local record store at that time, Hot Wax Records, here in Calgary. And uh, regretfully, I look, I look at the internet now, and when I do see copies selling of that, uh, even in lesser condition than the one I have, they're fetching a couple of thousand dollars at the least. So it is sought after. What a bonehead move that was. So I acquired this around 1990, early 90s, if I'm not mistaken. And it is a audiophile 180 gram pressing and uh, limited edition 500 copies. What else can I tell you here? Um, as far as the band, they, they are from Israel. Now, Stan Solomon, the vocalist, is Canadian. I'm not sure if many people are aware of that. He's from Montreal, I believe. Uh, Rob Huxley was also, uh, he was from Britain from the UK, from London. And once this band uh, moved to London, uh, around 1970 or 71 they disbanded. And I'm pretty sure it was Rob Huxley, uh, Haim Romano, and Amy Trebek. They formed the hard rock band Jericho Jones. By that point, uh, they dropped the psychedelic side and kind of adopted more of a, adapted more of a hard rock um, style, which was quite contemporary sort of for, for what was happening in London at that time. And eventually they dropped the uh, the Jones and were just known as Jericho, not to be confused with the Canadian band from that era of the same name. And you know, now that I'm looking at this, I, I'm looking back to my original pressing and I, I know this was the same photograph, minus some of the text down here of course, but I think it was pink. Same photograph, but it was sort of a pinkish purple hue to it. So what I'm going to play here is the final cut on side two titled Debka. Now if I'm not mistaken, a Debka is a type of dance. I seem to even recall it being mentioned in the old movie Fiddler on the Roof. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a dance based on that. If I'm incorrect, please let me know. Um, the, the cut is pretty cool. It starts off with the guys taking a few hits from a water pipe and you can uh, hear them burping away. And I think somebody's actually credited yeah, Sammy on water pipe, Sheldon on water pipe, uh, Diary on burps. So yeah, they had a few additional personnel there. Now as there is a segue between it and the preceding song, I will try and cue this up the best I can. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> 